welcome to International Christian Fellowship Midweek Service. We just want to thank you and praise you for tuning in with us. You guys are in, a tr in for a treat today. Pastor Kimberly has a word. Oh, my God. Listen, I suggest that you get your Bibles. Amen. Because you know we don't never say nothing without scripture. Amen. I want you to get your Bibles. Do me a favor. Get your Bibles. Get your tablets. Amen. Make sure that you are writing notes. And you know who I know is always writing notes? Denisha. Listen, but I want everybody to get this because this is what this word is about to come forth today. is something that is going to catapult International Christian Fellowship leaders to a whole nother level. Amen. And I already know there's going to be a part two. So you guys get ready for even the part two. See, what I'm trying to do is stir up your appetite and get ready to hear a good word from the Lord. Amen. But I want to tell you, thank you so very much for all of your faithfulness, all of you friends and family and all you guys that come on and support us. Those of you who are in Africa and those of you who are in Brazil and those of you who are in North Carolina and uh, Cincinnati, I just want to thank you all for coming on and, and just sitting uh, with us uh, as we deliver the word of God to you. Amen. So I'm going to hand it over to Pastor Kimberly. She is ready to greet you. So Pastor Kimberly. <laughs> amen, amen. I am um, grateful to be here. I'm always grateful to be here um, every time that um, I come aboard. Amen. amen. I'm always grateful. And um, I just want to say thank you all um, for taking out your time, coming and sharing your time with us on a Wednesday night when you could be doing anything else. <laughs> amen. amen. So I want to just say good evening, good evening, good evening, all of my friends, all of my Facebook friends, co-workers, and I would love to just say a special good evening to our IFC family, mm -hmm. the greatest church family you could ever have. Amen. Amen. You know, know that you guys hold a special place in our Come hearts. Amen. They really, now. really do. I'm telling you. Yes, so welcome to Midweek Meal and happy, happy hump day, amen. <laughs> and I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad you all are here with me tonight yes. as I bring the word of truth. Uh, I hope you all had a blessed day, a blessed week so far. Yes. And I just want to take a moment and, um, before I get started and um, do, you want, can you do the announcements? It's just a couple of them. Oh, yes, okay. I can do the announcements. Yes. Hey, listen, today is Wednesday. We know it's hump day. Thursday is our men's uh, uh, a meeting, um, and they do that by Zoom. And if you are on right now, and if you are interested, or you got a, a, a man that you think that would love to come on, we will get you in contact with Floyd and, and um, Brother Reggie and get you, get you guys acclimated. Because you know what? Iron amen. sharpens iron. Amen. And when we get the men together, amen, and get them together in one accord, you know, with their mind on the Lord and they're discussing things, amen, great things happen, amen. amen. So if you're interested, just let us know, messenger us, and we will get, get you acclimated as soon as we possibly can amen. on Fridays. Oh, my goodness. This is the one you really want to get involved in. We have corporate prayer. Yes. On Friday. And listen, we pray in the spirit for a whole hour. And I'm believing God for an hour and a half. I'm telling you now. <laughs> and I believe that we're ready to stretch to that limit. Uh, to that limit. And you know what? And, and even further beyond that. Because I'm telling you, when we get together in one accord. And that's what we do. The secret is one accord. Yes, when we amen. come together and pray in the spirit. We have a particular scripture that the Lord gives us. And we bring it to the forefront. And say, this is what we're praying for. Amen. Yes, what amen. that scripture says. And I'm going to tell you my goodness. Listen, we hear so many great uh, re reviews on that. I mean, great testimony, reports, testimony. testimonies yes, yes. about that. I'm telling you, so you really want to get acclimated in that. We do that through a uh, VA uh, Zoom. I mean, not Zoom, uh, teams. teams. We do it through Teams, and it is amazing. So if you want to get involved with that, all right, whether if you're a member or you're a friend, it don't matter. If you're ready for your prayer life to get the jump off the Richter scale, this is what you need to do is join with others oh, that were coming together, God. growing up in the spirit. Amen. Yes. If you are ready for some, uh, what is that word I'm trying to look for? If you're looking for the manifestation of what you believe in God for. Amen. Because first of all, we got to believe and we got to go through the spirit for, we, for us 
to get a physical manifestation. Mm -hmm. If you are ready to see some results mm -hmm. in your my prayer God, life, you need to join us. I'm telling you, God yeah. is doing some magnificent things. I'm going to tell you, as soon as we started, we got a notice to go back into the building. As soon as we got started, but God was waiting for us to obey the call yes. to corporate prayer. So yes. if you want to get involved, please get involved. Amen? Amen. We would love to have you. You don't have to be a member. You don't have to be a partner. You don't even have to be a friend. Just say, hey, I want to get involved. I'll download uh, Teams. Just get me acclimated, and I'm in there, okay? Amen. Amen. So I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Kimberly. All right, all right. Oh, that was, I should. It was something else, right? Yeah, you. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, I forgot because I'm <laughs> used to being there, right? So I'm going to open us up in prayer. Uh, amen. Mm -hmm. It is 707, so let's get on open up in prayer so we can get on with the word. Amen. Yes. Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord. And Father, we praise you. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for your presence that is here in this house and in every house that is represented here. We ask that spirit of the living God that you would speak to the hearts of your people, Lord God. That by faith, Lord God, because the word is in their heart, that by faith, Lord God, they can move forward in the things that they hear. Yes, so, Father, we thank you in advance mm -hmm. for, for the, the miraculous in the lives of the hearers, Lord God. That even that they get stirred up in the call of God that is on their life and, and have the, the, the courage, Lord God, to move forward in that call. Father, we thank you and we praise you. And we also pray, Lord God, for that person that has that call on their life who is discouraged. Mm -hmm. I speak encouragement over your life right now. After you hear this message, you will be encouraged. So, Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen Jesus. and amen. amen. Pastor Kimberly, amen. let's get on with it. Amen. amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Well, we're just going to go ahead in with the word, amen. First of all, as always, I want to honor Holy Spirit, because without Holy Spirit, none of us can do anything, amen. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We welcome you in this place. Father God, we thank you on tonight. Father, we praise you, and we invite your holy presence in this place on tonight, oh God. I give you full authority tonight to have your way, oh God. Father, I pray as always, for this opportunity to come before your people and to minister your word. And I ask, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to touch your people on tonight. Open up their spiritual eyes and open up their spiritual ears and enlighten them on tonight. Give them a fresh revelation on tonight in Jesus' name. Oh, God, I pray, Lord, that you heal those that need a healing, oh, God, and deliver those, oh, God, that need deliverance, oh, God, and comfort those that need comforting in the name of Jesus. Cause a shift, oh, God, in the atmosphere. Send your spirit, oh, God, across these airways like never before. And I ask, Lord God, that you give each and every individual under the sound of my voice an ear to hear, O oh God, and a heart to receive in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, speak through my lips and think through my mind. Unveil your word, O oh God, that you, O oh God, be glorified. I decrease right now that your spirit, O oh God, would increase in the name of Jesus, that your power would manifest all across these airways in the name of Jesus. None of me, O oh God, and all of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, and amen and amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Well, I just want to say one more time, welcome everybody, welcome again. I'm glad to have you here with me on tonight. And do me a favor, since you can't touch your neighbor, <laughs> type your neighbor and tell them hello, amen. Tell your neighbor hello, amen, <laughs> amen. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, all right? And so, um, um, Holy Spirit, have your way. Yes, have Hallelujah. your way on tonight. How many of you have pledged to do things in life and you go around vowing it and vowing to complete whatever it is, no matter what you have to go through, no matter what it takes? Mm, how many of you do that? 
And the blessing in that is that you keep your word to yourself, first of all, and then you keep your word to others. Understand this, you all. If you can't commit to yourself, hear me, then you surely cannot commit to others. If you cannot commit to yourself, hear me, y'all, you cannot commit to others. And most of all, you cannot commit to our God. Oh my God, my God. Y'all got to hear me. Y'all got to hear me in that. So first of all, you must commit to yourself so that you can commit to God and be able to commit to others. Mm -hmm. Hear this, y'all. Commitment first starts with you. Oh my God, my God. And those that you and, th and then those that you have committed to, be sure to complete the task, no matter what it takes, y'all, no matter what it costs. And what we need to understand is that to be faithful and to be dedicated to commit, somebody say faithful. Somebody type that for me, faithful. But then you are, on the other hand, there are some of us that make those same type of commitments but experience a different outcome. Mm -hmm. We make commitments, we make promises, we make promises to ourselves, we make promises to others, even sometimes we make promises to our children. And unfortunately, we never follow through. My, my, my. Whether it be excuses, come on somebody. Whether it be that it was too much, the task was too much, or saying that you bit off a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. You just totally overcommitted yourself to something, come on somebody. The bottom line to all of that is we were not dedicated, we were not faithful, nor we were not true to the commitment that we made. So I don't wanna sound like you all tonight that I'm bashing or not um, or whatnot, but this message is not just for you, but it's for all of us. And believe me, you, this message hit me as I was studying it. So it had to come through me to get to you. Amen. Somebody say amen. So understand, people of God, be aware of how important it is to stay faithful and committed. Understand whatever that you commit to is important not only to you, but it's important to others. Oh, you got to hear me, y'all. People are counting on you to do what you said you were going to do, especially those who are in leadership, those who are inspiring for leadership. So understand me, people of God, there is a price to be in leadership. Oh, y'all got to hear me and understand it is not about a title. Mm -hmm. It is not about a title. It is not about a collar. Or is it about a status? Understand this. It is about service. It's about serving others. It's about serving God's people. It's about serving all people. Mm -hmm. See, we need to understand that when we come into leadership, when we come, in, come into being faithful, we're coming into a service, a journey of service. Somebody type that for me, a journey of service. Oh, my, 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 my. Know this, you all. Some leaders are born. But most leaders are made. 
But however the case may be, come on somebody, leadership requires commitment. It requires dependability and it requires faithfulness. Oh my, my, my. Somebody type for me, that is for me. Type it for yourself, that is for me. Mm -hmm. So hear me, y'all. Get it in your mind. Get it in your mind. Get it in your spirit. That leadership requires commitment. Somebody type that. Leadership requires commitment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll find those people who uh, desire to be in leadership, but they are not willing to fully commit. Oh yeah, they're not willing to fully commit. They're in one day, Come on, somebody, hear me. They're out another day. I know God's called me. This is what they're saying. I know God's called me, but I'm not sure I'm ready. I'm not sure what he called me to. And they go on and on and on. Understand, it takes commitment, y'all, for God to use you consistently and effectively in any area. All y'all got to hear that. It takes commitment, you all, for God to be able to use you. Yes, he'll use you. He'll use you, but he can only use you in certain ways. But if you stay committed, if you stay diligent, he can use you effectively in whatever area he has called you to be. Mm -hmm. And hear me, y'all. Mm. Without commitment, without dependability, without faithfulness, you may want to take off that leadership hat. Come on, somebody. You may need to just take off that leadership hat until you are ready to commit. My God, my God. And I'm going to say this. Please don't get offended on tonight. Understand you all, this message is for all of us, as I said earlier. Leaders and inspiring leaders. My God. And hear this. If you don't need this message tonight, I'm going to ask you to turn around and put it up on the shelf and get it for later. Because if you don't need it now, you surely are going to need it for later. My God, my God. Understand, when you fail to follow through on commitments, you all, your integrity is on the line. Your character is on the line. And hear me, others trust what you say. Others trust when you say something and they take you at your word. Somebody type amen. Somebody say they take me at my word. So I'm going to be transparent with you all on tonight. So let me just tell y'all this. I struggle sometimes when it comes to what I've committed myself to. Mm -hmm. And I understand you all. I have a lot of hats on. Y'all got to hear me. I have a lot of hats on. And a lot of those hats y'all can't see. And not only that, hear this, y'all. So very important. I am the healed fighting from a position that the enemy continuously tries to throw sickness at. I am fighting from a healed position. Oh my God, my God. But all I can tell you all tonight, y'all, is that I am the healed mm -hmm, and I'm committed to all that God has called me to and ain't nobody mad but the devil. Somebody <laughs> saying ain't nobody mad but the devil. Come on and hear me in that, y'all. Y'all need to understand this. I still go in my office 
no matter what is what I'm going through, I still go in my office. I'm pecking that keyboard, y'all. Come on, somebody. I'm working those numbers. Y'all got to hear me. I'm preparing my lessons. Oh, my God, my God. And I'm putting things together, trusting God for my ministry. Come on, somebody. Trusting God for my personal life. And I'm trusting God for my work life until he releases me from that job. And I know there's going to be a time and a season for that too. But whatever it takes you all, I do whatever it takes to make it happen. My God, but through it all, y'all, I stay faithful to the call. Come on, somebody. I stay faithful to the call. Somebody type that. Stay faithful to the call. Oh my God, my God. So what I want to discuss with you all on tonight is faithfulness. Mm-hmm, faithfulness. And my title is, you should already know, being faithful to the call. My God, being faithful to the call. So let us get um, a quick description on faithfulness. Faithful is one who is loyal, one who is devoted, one is, who is unwavering, one who is steadfast, dedicated, committed, y'all hear all that, trusted, dependable, reliable, and obedient. Mm, hear me, y'all. Obedient to whatever he or she has been assigned to. That's what we call faithful. You hear that, Minister Denisha? That's what we call faithful. Come and she now. is faithful yes. to the call. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So before I go any further, let me establish one thing for sure for everybody on this line and everybody that will be coming on this line. Mm-hmm. You have been chosen. You have been called and you have been summoned by God. And he has a plan and a purpose for your life. All right. Mm -hmm. So understand there will be some coming on later. There will be some coming on for, from days on. Understand that you have been called to do something. Mm -hmm. You have been called and chosen by God. Mm -hmm. And this message here tonight is for you as well. John 15 and 16 verse A says, you did not choose me, mm. but I chose you. My Lord. My God, my God. Yes. So hear me. God has chosen you. First Peter 2 and 9 reads, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him, who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Oh, my, my. So understand this, you all. We were handpicked and chosen by God himself. And understand, you all, we had nothing to do with it. It was all planned from the beginning of time. My God, my God. And not only that, you all, he called you he called you out of that dark life. Come on, somebody. He called you out of that dark place. You got to hear me. Come on and hear me. He called you out of that secret life. How many of you had a secret life? He done called you out of it if you're under the sound of my voice. Oh, my God, my God. He's called you out of that place where death was calling your name. My God, my God, he called you out of that dark, dark place. Oh, my God, my God. And it felt like there was no return. 
he called you out of it and he brought you into his marvelous light. Oh my God, my God. Mm -hmm. Understand you all that he, when I say he, I'm talking about God himself. He handpicked you and he called you out of darkness. And not only did he call you out of darkness, but he set you aside. Uh huh. He sanctified you and brought you into his marvelous light. Oh, somebody tell me. Now that's good news. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. That is what we call good news. Romans 8. 30 tells us, and thank you, Minister Denisha, moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. Understand you all, you were predetermined to be here on tonight just as you were predetermined to, the, to be called to be a Christian and to be called to be a believer. Mm -hmm. God called and predestined you, meaning that your life was determined in advance by his divine will for your life. Oh, my, my, my. Turn with me, you all, to Jeremiah 1 and 5, I, and we all know this scripture, but go ahead and turn with me to it because this is one of my favorite scriptures. And uh, I'm sure that it's some of you all's. This is one of those scriptures for me that helped me hold on, y'all. And it helped me stay faithful to the call. Somebody type, stay faithful to the call. Y'all got to stay with me on tonight because we going somewhere tonight. We surely are going somewhere tonight. Jeremiah, in the New King James Version, Jeremiah 1 and 5 reads, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, I, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. Verse 7 reads, but the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Hear me, y'all. He's called some of us to be an apostle. He's called some of us to be prophets. He's called some of us to be evangelists. And others he's called to be pastors to teach, to be a true help unto the ministry. Mm -hmm. e Ephesians 4 and 11 gives us proof of that. Y'all can turn there with me as well. And he said, and he himself gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some pastors, teachers. For what reason he did this is for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, for edifying the body of Christ. Understand you all, these are some powerful passages See yourself in Jeremiah 1 and 5. Hold on to what God has told you. Hold on to what God has shown you. Oh my God, my God. And trust that it shall. I said that it shall come to pass. Verse number 7 tells us, in other words, do not say what you think. Do not say what you feel. But you shall, hear me, y'all, you shall do everything I told you because I, the Lord, have spoken it. My God, my God. And when I speak a thing, my God, it shall come to pass. When I speak a thing, it shall come to pass. And that's what God is speaking to you through those verses. My God, my God. 
Come on, somebody, type that for me. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Understand whatever he spoke to you, whatever he's told you, it shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Bless his name. Mm -hmm. And I need y'all to understand this. He didn't call everybody to ministry. The word specifically tells us that he called some. And some means some and not all. Say that. Some means some and not all. But be encouraged, my people. Be encouraged. He did call everybody to something. Oh, hallelujah. He did call everybody to something. No matter who you are. Come on, somebody. So know this. He does have a plan for your life. And those of you who are watching, he does have a plan for your life. You may not see it right now. You may not even understand it right now. But allow God to use you where you are. Whatever he has you doing right now, you continue to do it and be faithful at it. Oh, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Stay faithful in what you are doing right now so God can elevate you to who you are destined to be. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And if you don't remember anything else, you all, remember this. Promotion comes with faithfulness. Oh, my, my, my. Promotion comes with faithfulness. Hear me, you all. He may have called you to be a COE, CEO of a business. Mm -hmm. He may have called you to even be a mm -hmm. doctor. Come he on. may have called you to be a nurse, an engineer, a lawyer. Hear me, you all. Some he's called to their own businesses, Denisha. Some he has called to their own businesses. Amen. Some he Come has on. given some special gifts. Yes. And some special talents to use not only in the body of Christ, but in the world abroad. He's given some, some witty ideas. Come on, somebody. you got to hear me in this. Some, he's called to politics because we need politicians <coughs> in this government. And some, he has truly called for that in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, my God. We have to take this young Olympian girl, Simone Biles, and you all keep her in prayer. She was given a gift from God. Mm -hmm. And she was, she was faithful to the call. You know how long it takes to get to where she was, to where she, where she was, to where she went to the Olympics. This isn't even her first run in the Olympics. Come on, somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, not counting that she's already won four gold medals. Mm. She's won Come on now. Not only that, she she's won 19 world medals. My God, my God. God is the one who has called her faithful in that. Come on. Oh my God. And, 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 and that's not counting what's happening right now in the games. I know that she bowed out, but like I said, you all keep that young lady in prayer because she was faithful to the call. Yeah, she was you, faithful to the call and what has happened, the enemy has, has crept in and she didn't have anybody there for her to be able to push her into her destiny. Come on, See, now. remember that there's no family there to push her. There's no fans there to root her own. Come on, somebody. Hey. You got to hear me. But she was still faithful to her call and what she has done in this hour right now does not conclude that she is finished Come but on. she has much more to go because she was faithful to her call oh my 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 her family her family, you all, made a sacrifice for Come her. On. Come on, mm -hmm. Yes, they did because they saw the gift. Oh my God, they saw the gift and they knew she would be known all around the world because she was 
faithful and dedicated to it. Mm -hmm. She moved her family from ordinary, hear me you all, she moved her family from ordinary to super ordinary to extraordinary, mm -hmm. all because she was faithful to her call. Somebody type faithful to the call. Oh my, 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 my. Listen up people of God. He has called all of us to something. Mm -hmm. And understand this you all, whom God calls, he qualifies. Oh, yes, he does. Meaning he has equipped you uh -huh, with everything that you need on the inside. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. and, he, and recognize this, you all, that greatness lies within you. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. It resides on the inside of you. So come on, y'all. Y'all got to hear me in that which is for the work he has called you to do. Oh, my, my, my. And understand this, people of God. Each of us, each and every one of us, have something specific that God has predestined for our lives. And it's up to us as believers to grab a hold of it. Come on, somebody, to grab a hold of it and carry it out in the name of Jesus. Be faithful to whatever God has called you to. Mm -hmm. And understand you all, he's already qualified you for it. You've already been qualified for it. So there's nothing that's missing. There's nothing broken. There's nothing lacking that's on the inside of you. So understand, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, you were made specifically for that purpose. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, my, my, my. So um, turn with me to John 19, 28 through 30. Mm-hmm. 19, 28 through 30. Oh, we're doing good time. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. I just got to give him my hand praise. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Starting at verse, uh, uh, starting uh, John 19 at verse number 28. After this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there and they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on his cup, and put it into his mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up the spirit. Jesus, y'all, the highest of all, was faithful to his call. He went through everything that he was supposed to go through in order to be faithful to his call. And because he was faithful to his call, y'all got to hear me, we today can live. We today have eternal life because Jesus was faithful to yeah. his call. Thank you, Jesus, for being faithful to your call because if he had not, of being faithful to his call, where would we be today? Oh my God, my God. Somebody say he finished his call. He finished it. And then he went to the right hand of the Father and then he gave us, ha, he gave us, the people of God, the position to be faithful to whatever he has called us to do. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Jesus is the highest of all. And he was faithful to his call. He walked out everything, you all. He, was, he walked out everything that he was purposed to do. Oh, my goodness. Even through the worst of circumstances, my God, who could have been any more faithful than the Lord Jesus himself? Oh, hallelujah. Somebody need to say hallelujah. hallelujah. He was faithful, y'all. He was diligent, y'all. He submitted 
Oh my God, to the call. Y'all remember when he was in, uh, in the, uh, 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 is that, forgive me, when he was in Gethsemane and he was in Gethsemane and he was crying out to God and he said, Lord, Pray this God. cup, take this cup, but not my will, but your will. He could have put that cup down. He didn't have to take that cup, but he was faithful to the call, y'all. He was faithful to the call. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus, for taking that cup. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Come on, let's give God a hand praise. For he is truly faithful, y'all. He is truly committed, y'all, and faithful throughout eternity. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and go into uh, the altar call. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Come on, I just want to give him just a hand praise just for a moment. Oh, thank you so much, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're here on tonight and you're under the sound of my voice, it's truly not an accident. It is God ordained, meaning that you were meant to be here. And God wants you to have an ear on tonight to hear. He wants you to understand being faithful to the call, faith to, faithful to what God has called you to do, no matter what it is, just being faithful to what he's called you to do so you can become all that he has for your life in the name of Jesus. And the first step of being faithful to the call is giving your heart to Jesus. You may be thinking, I've done too much. I'm not worthy. He may not accept me. But I'm here to tell you on tonight, God loves you and he is waiting for you to enter in. And all he wants you to know is that this is your time and this is your season. He understands all that you've been through and he wants you to understand that you have already been forgiven. He got up on that cross over 2,000 years ago just for you. Mm -hmm. He got up there for your salvation. He got up there for your healing. He got up there for your deliverance. And he says right now is all you need to do is repent. All you need to do is change your mind mm -hmm. and receive him as your Lord and personal Savior. No matter what you have done or even what you might be doing or have done, even in the last couple of hours, he said for us to come as we are. So he said for you to also come as you are and he himself will clean you up. You don't got to come in looking like trying to get ready. Because he said, if you just come, I'll get you ready. Mm. Oh, my God, my mm. God. And maybe you might be that one that has backslidden, meaning falling away from the things of God. And you may want to recommit your life to Christ here on tonight. The time is now. The time is now. The first thing you need to do is just repent. And turn from those wicked ways and turn your heart back to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Know that God is a patient God and he has been patiently waiting for you. He has been waiting for your return. Jeremiah 3 and 14 tells us that God is married to the backslider and he will meet you right where you are. No questions asked. Mm -hmm. Now, the time is right now. John, 1 John 1 and 9 tells us, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. In Romans 10 and 9, for that new believer, he says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe it 
in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you too shall be saved. It's just that simple, y'all. It's truly just that simple. So if you believe in your heart and you feel led to pray with me, I ask you to repeat this prayer after me. Jesus, Jesus. I realize that I'm a sinner. Mm -hmm. I have not followed your ways. Mm -hmm. I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. Yes, sin. Come into my heart and live with me. Satan, I shall no longer serve you. My ear has been turned and my heart has been changed. And I now belong to God Almighty. Lord Jesus, cleanse me and wash me and make me whole. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and power. And I shall serve you all the days of my life in Jesus' name. If you just confess that prayer, welcome to the kingdom of God. Oh, hallelujah. And know that the angels in heaven are rejoicing with you. And so are we. Oh, hallelujah. And your new life in Christ is now you are a new creation. Oh, hallelujah. And all of those old things have passed away and all of those new things become new and you have just been washed in the blood of Jesus and your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, let's give them a hand praise all around this internet. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. If you would like some additional information with your new life in Christ, just leave a comment in the comment section and, or either you can inbox myself or Pastor Rita or you can um, inbox or message International Christian Fellowship and we'll get right back to you, myself or Pastor Rita or one of our elders. Amen. All right. Come on, let's give God another hand praise. Because he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So next we're going to have Pastor Rita up and she's going to uh, be um, doing the, um, doing the, um, uh, the offering. So she, uh, you know, told me to give her a minute. So I'll give her that minute, amen. <laughs> amen, I guess I, 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 I guess I'll, uh, she forgot. <laughs> but anyway, it's all good. It's all good. Um, she's uh, going to be right back with you. I'm just grateful for each and every one of you that are on with us tonight. I hope you all um, learned something from the word. I hope you all appreciated the word. Um, we are going to um, do a part uh, two in this um, because there is more to come. I just didn't want to run over in our time and that gives you some time to let that word meditate on the inside and I ask that you go over those scriptures that we um, went over tonight and get those scriptures in your spirit and um, um, ask God to help you to be faithful to the call because there is so much that God has for us and we must be faithful to what God has called us to do. Amen. 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 All right. Well, 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 I'm going to tell you this right now. I told y'all, I told you you was going to get your socks blessed off. Amen. That was a phenomenal right on time right now word. Amen. 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 Um, for leaders and those of you who know you have a call on your life. And I've been going back and forth with Justin. And you know what, Justin? Um, we love you here at International Christian Amen. Fellowship. Amen. See, it wasn't by accident that I friended you today. It wasn't, Amen. and I believe it was today I friended you. But you came on, and I think I also, I don't know if I tagged you or not, but I'm going to tell you this right now. God has something in store for you, yes. Justin. Amen. And I don't want you to count your past as your eligibility in what God has for you. Yes. You understand what I'm saying, Justin? What I'm saying to you is that God has called you 
um, to a, how Pastor Kimberly said it, an extraordinary life. Yes. And I want you to pursue God all with all of your being to pursue him. And he will begin Amen. to direct your path. Yes. You know, ministry doesn't happen overnight. It's a process because ministry to me is part of the body of Christ, which is a living organism. And we don't start off as adults. We start off as kids and we get trained and, Amen. you know, we grow up in the things of God. Amen. But Justin, if you don't have a church home, uh, get in contact with us. And, and if you want to be trained, get in, get, get in contact with us. But I'm going to leave it at that. Please, Justin, get in contact with us. I need to go on so I can get on with the offering. Amen. Because I have to be mindful of everyone's time. Amen. 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 So I want to tell you this. Um, outside of that word, amen, I'm going to tell you this, that that's good ground to sow in. And I'm going to say it again. That's good ground to sow in. Amen. Um, I and, and I say it all the time, but I listen to um, uh, our pastor uh, our apostle all day today, listening to him teach on prosperity. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, uh, he blessed me so, amen, amen. I had to sow. <laughs> I mean, he blessed me. He blessed me. Amen. Because what he did is he brought me back to where I used to be. And then God told me, I want you to look and see where you are now because you have been listening to prosperity, biblical prosperity. And so biblical prosperity, everybody always have this thing about prosperity, all this prosperity uh, preachers. But you know what? We go to work every day to pay bills. Yes. And we like sales and we like to have things. But you know what? We don't have to work to pay bills. We don't have to live to pay bills. But some of us is inspiring to be business people. And you know what? You need to learn how to handle wealth. You need to know that wealth belongs to you. We as believers need to know wealth belongs to us. But I'm going to tell you this right now. When we sow, let me go over here to 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and 17. And I am so excited today. I, I, I'm going to tell you. I, I thank God for that word. You know, because as leaders, I mean, you know, the time that we sow in the word of God and in the kingdom of God and serving, amen, you can always expect to reap a harvest. I remember uh, many years ago, Pastor Kimberly and I were singing in the praise team and I was the only one off key and they fired me eventually. But you understand what I'm saying? We started off in the praise team. When we were kids, we were in the choir, but we were sowing and we were faithful and we were sowing our life, our time and our talent. Yes. Amen. Had no idea what God had in store for us. Amen. So in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse uh, 6, it says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. And it says each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give. Yes. And you understand that? So that when we're sowing seed, we are uh, uh, compelled by the spirit of living God. And he'll tell us what amount to sow. Nobody can ever tell you what to sow. Amen? But Holy yeah. Spirit will tell you what to sow. And I'm going to tell you right now, that word that came across tonight, amen, I think that that word deserves a seed. Amen? Because we are all looking for a harvest and return every time we sow. Amen? Mm -hmm. I, when I sent my seed today, and I'm going to tell you, I put a message by the seed, you know, because I did it through Cash App, and you can put a little, like, for what? I put what I put that seed for. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? And so for those of you who are inspiring ministry or you, you know, you know, you're moving forward in ministry, you understand whatever God puts on your heart, you name that seed. Yes. Amen. Yes. Name put that name seed. On it. Put a name on it. Yes. <laughs> and it says, um, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen? Amen. And here it is. And God is able. Somebody say, God is able. Amen. God is able to make all grace. Amen? Be grace is beyond your ability. Grace also means favor. Amen? Abound to you. Amen? So that in all things, at all times, having all that you need. Why? Because you sowed a seed. Amen? So it says also, and I'm going to drop down. He said, now he who supplies seed for the sower and bread for food. God is saying that 
now that you are a seed sower, he said, now I make sure that those who sow seed, that I supply them with seed. Amen? Amen. So hear this, and I say it all the time. This is part of the economy of God. This is how we obtain wealth. And it is, part of it is sowing seed. Amen? And if you are giving your tithe on today, and you're bringing your tithe to the storehouse, I'm going to tell you this. Um... It is very, very profitable when it comes to giving seed. Amen? Because I'm going to tell you this. Uh, that tithe is part of your 100%, which it is your 10th. Amen? And when we give God our, we bring God our tithe, that is an uh, act of worship and thanksgiving. So I'm saying to God that everything that you bring to me in my finances every two weeks or at once a month, amen, because I'm retired, uh, I give you back the tenth, meaning I give you back the best part of it, amen. I keep the 90, but he says now, now that you have trusted me with the 10th. Let me tell you what I'm going to do with your 90. Come on, y'all, stay with me. <laughs> he said, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. He says, test me to this, yes. says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing, uh, empowerment to prosper. Okay, come on, somebody. I don't know where you need to prosper at in your life, but he said that I will open up the windows and pour you out a blessing. And that means abundantly, amen, yes, yes, that you will not have room enough for it. He said, and I will prevent the pests from devouring your crops and the vines of your field when I cast their fruit, says the Lord Almighty. He said, I'm going to keep the pests, because he's talking in the agricultural way, I'm going to keep the pests from devouring, you know, like if you got a... Uh, a grapevine and you, you don't want the pest to destroy your grapes because then you can't use them, you, you understand, to make, you know, finances. He said, I'm going to stop them from devouring your crops. Amen. So since he's talking in the agricultural way, we have to turn it around in a paper way. Amen. Money. He said, I'm going to keep the enemy from coming up against your finances. Amen. And so how many of us need the enemy to quit coming up against our finances? And I always say this. It, it, it doesn't matter uh, 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 that we, we, we don't give our tithe. That opens up the, 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 the avenue for the enemy to come and attack. But when we, listen to me, when we bring our tithe, he said, I promise. You understand what I'm saying? I will keep the enemy from devouring your crop. Now, listen to this. And it says, then will all nations call you blessed. Amen. So the world, the world will be able to see that the blessing of God is on your life. Amen. amen. So if you have uh, 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 did your uh, tithe and your offering, amen. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and raise up our, we'll be in the church uh, on the 8th. Amen. Uh, Justin will be in the building on the 8th. So please join us. And, and I think Pastor Kimberly can probably type that in. Somebody, Denisha, type that in. Um, Inca Elementary School in Buckeye. Uh, we'll be back into the building um, on Sundays at uh, 10 a.m. starting August 8th. But raise up your offering right now. Father, we thank you and Father, we praise you. We glorify you, yes, Lord God. Yes. Father, we thank you that, Lord God, that, that you said in your word that you will pour out blessings that we wouldn't have room enough for. And thank you, Lord God, that, that the offering and the tithe, Lord God, that you said you would continue to give seed to the sower. Thank you that you make all grace abound to us and, yes. and all, at all times and in everything, Lord God. We glorify you. So, mm -hmm. Lord God, we lift up our tithe. We lift up our offering, Lord God, unto you and to worship you with it, Lord God, with thanksgiving for all that you have done. So we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' mighty yes. name. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. So we just want to thank you and we want to praise God for you all. Amen. Who have came. Um, I, I, I enjoyed you, Justin, tonight. We enjoyed you. Amen. amen. And, um. You know, feel free Sundays we're uh, uh, until the 8th. We'll be, well, as a matter of fact, next week we won't be on. We'll be in the building, but we'll be doing something else. But I'm thinking that maybe I need to do something that Sunday. But anyway, we're going to work something out. Um, but Justin, um, I want to let you know that we love you. God bless yes, you. you. The blessing of the Lord is upon your life. Amen. You know, he said that uh, 
one of his comments, he said, tears is coming to my face right now. So, you know, I thank Holy Spirit for ministering to thank you outside you. of what you were hearing. Because usually that's how it happens. God began to minister to us as we're hearing the word. And I thank God that you got ears to hear. So we just praise and thank God for all of you and Justin. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, do the benediction. And get us out of here, amen, because it is 801. Father, we thank you, and Father, we praise you. Lord God, we speak the blessings over each and every one of uh, the members that are here and friends that has came on. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you, Lord God, for the head of hedge of protection that you have over their lives in the name of Jesus. And we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, good night, good night, and we will see you soon. All right. Good night. We love you guys. Love you. Love you. Be blessed. Be blessed.